Hi, hello, my name is Beth and this is Red Art, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think gotta go fast. I'll tell you why I think they gotta go fast. And then I draw them and I try a different technique every single time. This time's no exception, guys, because I drew them with salt. I drew her with salt. I drew her with salt. Can't draw things with salt. You have to sprinkle. You have to do like sprinkly. It was a lot. It was a lot. Who did I draw? You're not asking that. You read the title. You know who it is. It's Tracer from Overwatch. Duh. Why is it Tracer from Overwatch? Duh. Well, because we're launching a gaming channel. It's called Slave Tricks. Down in the description below. Subscribe. It's new. It's fresh. It's innovative. I'm gonna be there. Rachel's gonna be there. We got a bunch of other exciting hosts who are gonna be there, and we're gonna be playing games. We've never done anything before like this ever on the history of YouTube, so get on it, ground floor. Here's a little taste of her. Get it, cause it's salt. And if you like how that looks, you know the drill, stick around and I'll show you time lapse. And I'll talk about why she's an important video game character. Guys, I'm excited. Tracer is a video game character created by the studio Blizzard and is featured in the massively popular team-based shooter Overwatch. She's arguably the most recognizable character as she's right there on the box art and was heavily showcased in the promotion of the game. To this day, over a year after it's released, she continues to be one of the most popular characters both canonically and also to play. Every good hero needs a good origin story and Tracer is no different. Born Lena Oxton, she was the youngest person ever inducted into Overwatch's experimental flight program. Unfortunately, something went wrong during the first flight of a teleportation craft, and in true Amelia Earhart fashion, Tracer disappeared. Months later, she reappeared, but would blip in and out of existence unpredictably, moving through life like a ghost. Only one scientist was able to help, and you Overwatch players will recognize him as good ol' Winston. He designed the Chrono Harness, which finally allowed Tracer to control her temporal shifts and even utilize them in battle. Now she has control over her own time, allowing her to speed it up and slow it down at will. That time control ability means that in the game Overwatch, a player with a good grasp of her controls can zip and blink around a battlefield with ease, crossing enemy lines and targeting support characters to cripple the other team. With that speed comes a price, and although she's hard to hit, she's fragile, so like, don't get hit. While Blizzard has teased that many of their characters are LGBTQ+, Tracer was the first to be revealed as such. Guys, Tracer got a girlfriend! In the holiday Overwatch comic Reflections, Tracer buys a scarf for the red-headed cutie Emily and upon gifting it, is rewarded with a kiss, thereby confirming many fans' speculations that Tracer likes them ladies. Also, Emily looks a lot like me and I'm not mad about it. This is important because representation is important. Knowing an LGBTQ plus person, or even a fictional character, increases a person's likelihood of supporting LGBTQ plus rights. So Overwatch is fighting the good fight on that front. Being that Russia and China both block homosexual content for minors, there would be unfortunate global ramifications if they made Tracer's homosexuality overt in-game, so they limit it to a webcomic. That being said, they did recently add a Tracer voice line where she playfully states, Wonder if I have time to visit Emily. No, better stay focused, while well, in the middle of a battle. A joyful and playful hero like Tracer being gay is important because of a trope that goes by a couple names, the dead lesbian trope or bury your gaze. It highlights the fact that most gay characters introduced to a story will inevitably meet a violent end. There is an unspoken law that if you're gay, you'll be unhappy and die, but Tracer is a character who stands to oppose that unspoken law with her aggressive positivity and delightful loving relationship. If these tropes tell us that gay characters aren't allowed happy endings, then Tracer tells us that they are. Cheers, love! The cavalry is here and queer. I could talk about Tracer's butt, but I don't want to. I just want to celebrate a rad character in a rad game using the salt of the tears of the people who play it. So that's what I'm doing. Like this video if you liked it. If you liked it, subscribe to Slay Tricks, our new gaming channel. The link is in the description, I told you already. If you like me, I have a YouTube channel called Beth the Rad. I also have a Twitch channel by the same name. Go down there, leave me a comment with who you want me to draw for the next rad art. And I'm going to do, I'll do it, I'll do it. This is a bra.